Alléluia. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Can I greet the enemies of Satan? Alléluia. Amen. I want to say, King Nayo. I want to say, this is me. Alléluia. Amen. Who could not climb the steps here on a Wednesday? What happened to you? Just came up. You just came up? Yes. Let me see how you walk. You feel pain, eh? A pain here, and there was also a pain here. Even if I take tablets, it doesn't respond. So, it, it, it never happened when you are praying for people? Yes, I'm praying for people at school and in the community. Come. Because you see when you pray with people, Go and sit there. Go and sit there. You will never use this thing again. Climb. Climb. Can you see how this brother, to show he's feeling pain? Climb, my brother. Climb to step one. Climb. 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 Can you see how he's feeling pain? Climb, my brother. Uh huh. Uh huh. Climb. To show he's feeling pain. Sit there. Yeah. How do you feel? Because this, I want to show you that. It's not a pastor who heals. It's Jesus. Amen. How do you feel, my brother? Still there is pain on this You feel side. pain, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now stretch, stretch your leg. Put it back. Stretch another one. Right one. Put it back. Oh, you are healed now. Stand up. Stand up, my brother, and walk. Uh -huh. Now walk. Walk. You are falling down. Stand up. There's anointing there. Stand up. He's feeling anointing. He's feeling anointing. My brother is feeling the same, but he's healed now. Brother, walk. Brother. <laughs> when you are walking, you, you'll find you are walking, you are walking, you are carrying on. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, brother. Can you see now you are walking? Carry on. <laughs> Ten. Ten back. Brother. Turn now, carry on working. Carry on working. Look at him now. Don't run. There is anointing there. The healer is Jesus. Can you go there? What do you want? God delivered me. I'm healed. I was using two crutches. I could not walk. My spine was being eaten. My whole leg of the left was eaten. I could not even sit straight. Even a minute I could not sit. So every time where I was, I was supposed to sleep. The pain was continuously, not even a minute. I was attacked the last Friday, that, past, uh, that, that last Friday. 
whilst I was uh, uh, I was doing uh, services at the school so I was attacked by the enemy he paralyzed my spine and my left hand so when I went to the, the private doctor he saw three things in me he said I had arthritis, arthritis of the spine. spinal cord. He said I had sugar diabetes. He, he said also I had BP. BP high blood pressure. He said I must go to the hospital and be operated. So he gave me one week off. So that I might go to the hospital and do physio and everything and get operation and um, X-ray. Or a key hospital on the X-ray and ready operation in physiotherapy. So on a Tuesday, Kalabubedi, I went to the hospital. Kaya hospital. And underwent an X-ray. Kaya katana ko X-ray. My body was clean. They saw nothing in me. They said your spinal cord is correct. But I was screaming in pain. Because there was a pain right in between the shoulders. That it hit through my whole back and all the, the leg there. But the doctor was saying, we, we are not seeing anything. We don't know what to treat now. So what they did was to give me the painkillers. And also uh, some tablets as the doctor had prescribed for BP, for sugar diabetes, for arthritis. So I came from, from, from the hospital carrying a big packet like this. And I was supposed to drink from morning, afternoon, and evening. But what shocked me most, when I drank the tablet, it was worse than ever before. I could cry and mourn. So I knew one thing. I knew I was attacked. And I said, I'm going to the house of God. That's where my deliverance is. I said, thank God that they've given me one uh, this week. I'm going to spend this week in the house of God. There's one thing that I knew. When I come from the house of God, I will be coming back with a testimony. As I stand here, I have the testimony. I want to thank the servants of God, Daddy and Mama, for allowing God to use them. If it was not that they were willing to be used by God, I think I was supposed to be dead by now because the pain, the pain was unbearable. I knew, honestly, I'm going now. But thank God, the moment I climbed this pulpit, there, there's a certain power that hit my face. I became powerless on this other side. I, I was trying to stand up and I was falling because I was feeling so weak. But when, when the man of God said, begin to move, I felt a change. I was moving up and down. And when I continued moving up and down, I was better. Those people who had seen me walking in two crutches from my house, they were shocked to see me carry the crutches on my shoulders. And they said, what happened? I said, there is a man of God somewhere there. If you go there, his God is so great. And these people said, we want to follow you there. But unfortunately, I said, I'm going on a one on one. You cannot follow me unless if you want to register. So I went to register there. 
Because I wanted God to complete and to get direction as to what had actually happened. Honestly speaking, the man of God is a seer. He took me from one point to another. He, he described everything about me as if he was there. And honestly speaking, he told me exactly the person who attacked me. I was shocked. And I'm grateful for the grace in this house. It's high time the world should look to South Africa and come to this place for deliverance and for healing. Because God is here in this place. I'm saying to those who are outside there who saw me walking on crutches. Watch the space. I'm right. Hallelujah. Amen.